our fields were not dirty by any means with the weeds. Like we did have a lot of uh, negative um, because of the white space, and we're going to have weed problems. Well, we're, you're not. You're not disturbing yeah. the soil. The only boy, only where we had weeds were, that were growing was in drill rows. Mm -hmm. Everything in between, there wasn't much, unless a, a weed seed got bounced up on the surface, mm -hmm. then you'd have that. I but you also have such a wide gap where you're not rushed to get in there to spray because mm -hmm. you have you know, the canopy's not closing in right away, right? Yeah. So our uh, our spring season was probably more enjoyable this year. Um, if you take care of weeds, there's not going to be more with this drill. I mean, no, I mean if you, farms with with weed problems are going to have weed problems. I think with any drill, it doesn't matter. So it, it comes to management for sure. But for yeah. us, with our package. Um, with uh, with pre burn um, every spring on on cereals, I had more time to spray when the when the wind was blowing and, and we and we did get rain. When you were supposed to be spraying, the neighbors were all panicked and they were trying to get in because their crops were closing in on tight spacing and, and, and we had time. So yeah. I was I was actually the pressure was off for us this you year. Cut your rate like we used to spray it with heavy with water right to get down in that canopy because the old six inches between the rows started to close in sooner. So we wanted to have that water volume to get inside. Where we cut the water back, we got more acres out of the sprayer. Yeah, so and it was, uh, yeah, it was way more enjoyable to spray and. Uh, and like Wade said, we were at 12 and a half gallons in crop before, um, backed her off to 10, uh, which is still sufficient to do a good job, but, but that extra two and a half for us um, wasn't needed anymore. So that, that adds up a lot for the, for the sprayer, for, um, for efficiencies with the tender truck. So it was like I say, all around, it was a more enjoyable spray season. Yeah, and you're just, uh, and then you can wait Kind of, I mean, you got to spray your crop at a certain stage, so you can't wait too long. Yes. But you also can maybe wait for the late flush of mm -hmm. weeds, right? So if you go out and spray early and your crop's not closing in, and all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of rain, and then now you get that late flush, well, now you, I mean, you don't want to have to go and spray again. So now we can kind of wait and we can kind of play around with that a bit. So it was a little tough for the first year just because you've, been doing the same thing for so long you just you know this is the day we got to spray I mean you got to get out there but no like let's just wait a bit and but um, yeah, huge benefit for sure well. oh yeah absolutely we're yeah